Wow, that lecture about lung fibrosis was amazing. But what's McMaster University doing about it? Let's go check it out. Good morning. Oh, hi. Good morning to you, too. So what kind of research happens here? Well, uh, in our lab, the detoxification of the antibiotics happens through the unfolded protein response in such a way that we can examine the evidence of the endoplasmic reticular stress. And then... So what do you actually do? To put it more simply, when a cell is in a stressful environment, usually caused by infection or hypoxia, what can happen is the cell will upregulate certain things, allowing the endoplasmic reticulum to increase in size, allowing this warehouse organelle to produce more protein and lipid, allowing for cell survival and also increased cell function. This process is pretty well integrated in fibrosis, which is one of the top killers in Canada. So looking at this, oh, actually, Hassan, do you mind go checking that out? Uh, yes. Cool. Appreciate that. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Good. So what exactly is fibrosis? So fibrosis is simply too much wound healing or too much buildup of scar materials in the tissues. So imagine if you cut yourself, you have a wound and that wound needs to heal itself. So at the end you have a scar. So fibrosis is, is simply too much wound healing and too much scarring. And, in, and it's the major hallmark of many chronic diseases, including the lung, which is our organ of interest. And what, what cells are involved in fibrosis? So there are really different cell types that can directly or indirectly um, um, lead to fibrogenesis. Uh, the primary cell type is known as myofibroblast. So myofibroblasts can secrete um, collagen and other uh, fibrotic materials which can lead to wound healing. Um, too much of these cells in the tissues can lead to fibrosis. Another cell type that is also very important is, is the macrophage. So macrophages are immune cells. They're important and, 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 and they have a wide array of functions. They can battle infections. They're also important in suppressing immune responses. But also one of their important function is to um, orchestrate wound healing responses. They can secrete a lot of cytokines and growth factors that can impact fibrogenesis. And how do you study fibro fibrosis in the lab? Yeah, so we have um, different animal models. So we have a mouse and a rat model of, of lung fibrosis. We initiate fibrosis using chemicals and adenoviruses, and we try to really intervene to um, to see if we can inhibit the initiation or the, or the, or the progression of fibrosis. Um, I'm currently looking at really modulating the, the phenotype of macrophages and try to influence their ability to secrete materials and cytokines involved in fibrogenesis. Um, so I do that both in vivo and in vitro. Thank you so much. Hey, where are you going? I'm actually going to Dr. Ask, but if you want to come along, just follow me. Sure. Hi, how are you? Very good. So our question is, um, what are the clinical implications of your research? I think the, the clinical implications is that uh, for many chronic lung diseases, we don't really know what are the factors that make uh, people progress. And so we, our work is to identify what these factors are. And once we have identified it, we need to modulate them to see if we can prevent progression. That's, that's basically what we are here for. 
Hey, where are you going now? Hi. Yeah, it's been a long day, and I'm just heading home. So,、um, see you later. See you.